IMMU-132 is an antibody drug conjugate. Uh, the antibody is again directed against something called trope 2, which is a very commonly expressed epithelial marker in lots of different cancers. It's easily, you know, 70 to 80 percent of lung cancers probably express it. And we're just using that as an address label to deliver a toxin. So the antibody drug conjugate uses the antibody as the delivery system, and the conjugate is the toxin. In this case, it's a relatively old-fashioned, but known effective toxin, which is SN38. That's the active ingredient of irinotecan. Now, people have looked at irinotecan in lung cancer before, and if you go back, you know, it has about a 4% response rate. Um, it has a lot of problems in terms of diarrhea and some neutropenia. And what we can see is we're able to deliver this drug at a much greater amount, preferentially towards the tumor. So we, we change the efficacy toxicity ratio. And what we're seeing in a, in a very heavily pretreated population, median is three lines of prior therapy, that it is tolerable um, at 10 milligrams per kilogram, day one and day eight, 21 day cycle. We're getting about 23, 24% grade three neutropenia, which is what we expect, but that's manageable. There's no prophylaxis here. But the, the diarrhea rate is only about 7%, whereas it's nearly 24, 25% with naked irinotecan. And the confirmed response rate is modest. It's about 13%, but the duration of response in those patients is nine months. And so we're clearly identifying a group of people who are deriving a lot of benefit and often a very tolerable way, but it's not in everybody. And then the challenge is, well, who are they? Trope 2 expression is so common that at least when we've looked at that, doesn't appear to be a differentiator. So we're probably delivering it to most of the tumors. The issue is not all of them are sensitive to it, and that becomes the next field of research.